The Next Best Thing by Joseph Lidster. Hello. I'm not great at talking about myself, to be honest. I'm quite happy listening and nodding as you tell me about whatever it is you're going on about, but, but I guess you want to know who I am, how I got here, that kind of thing. And I guess that's what she's done. She's given me the chance to do this, so here goes. My name's Bunny Driver, stupid name, but apparently my mum had a rabbit and it died. And the next day she got the baby scan of me and she thought it looked like the rabbit. So she thought it was looking down on her or reincarnated or I don't know. But yeah, Bunny. <laughs> I used to live in London, worked in an office. My main topics of conversation used to be the weird names, things having Lidl and bitching about Katie on reception. Who frankly, to this day, I still don't know how she wasn't fired, especially with those nails. I used to share a flat with an old schoolmate who I hadn't really liked since sixth form. And I used to go and play, play pub quizzes at the Dirty Duck, but only because I thought the quiz master was fit. Seriously fit though, hands like shovels. Oh. And that used to be it, that was my life, and it was fine, normal, just you know, getting on with it. Paid my bills, watched Holby, went home for Christmas, and then one day. I was just getting off the tube and heading to Londis because Mina had told me about these new French fancies that were after eight mint flavour and then there was this huge flash of light, kind of pink, mauve. And then I was in this dark void and I couldn't see or hear anything so I guessed I was dead. And then I started to kind of hope I wasn't dead. I hadn't been that bothered when the whole flash of light thing first happened because death happens to us all. But yeah, as time went on and as I lost track of time, I really, really started to hope I wasn't dead because an eternity of just darkness. Not great, not for me. Wasn't a fan, but it went on, on and on and on and well, I'll say it myself, I'm just not that interesting, really. You probably gathered that from the whole telling me about myself thing, so, yeah. An eternity of wondering if Mr Kipling really had perfected the after eight mint flavoured fancy and silence. Until suddenly this voice pipes up. I'll try and do the accent. You're all right, sorry to bother you, but are you really got a body driver? That's brilliant. She was northern, not a fan. I thought, you know, first voice I've heard since I got off the tube, so I'd be polite. So I said, hello, back, and she said she was called the Doctor. Stupid name, but I can't talk. And she told me what had happened to me. Sometimes the universe loses people, they're misplaced, and they end up here. It's like this old bunch of shadow dimensions where, well, people just turn up. I know it must seem really scary, and actually it's probably really boring, isn't it? Just by yourself. I'm all right, I've got my fam, couldn't live without them. But you, bunny driver, you're lost, aren't you? Sorry, I'm babbling, I do that. So, how are you feeling? I mean, I was fine, really, just fine. Bored, I guess. I'd long stopped being confused and was just accepting it. This is what life is. But she pushed, you see. She pushed. Oh, I hate that word, fine. Nobody should ever be fine. You should be ecstatic or devastated. Anything other than five out of ten fine. She paused. Bunny. So I thought about it a bit and I thought, maybe I'm not fine. I don't know, maybe I'm a little bit sad. I mean, I'm, I was, well, it would have been nice not to have been here. I'd rather have been in Londis than in some mad shadow dimension and I kind of... Well, I wish I'd had my mum before all this happened and maybe I should have asked the quiz master out because if he'd said no, I could have always found another quiz and... Okay, I quite like Katie on reception's nails and I wish I'd told her and I actually missed the way she'd made everything sound like an insult and I just missed my mum and my friends and work and it wasn't like the best life but I just missed getting on the tube and really hating those adverts and I missed the streets and people and everything and oh god why has this happened to me? I 
I had a little cry. I don't usually cry. I'm not a fan. She spoke again, this doctor, and she said that she couldn't fix this. She wanted me to know right from the start that she couldn't fix this. Some things can't be fixed. Sometimes the universe misplaces people and we end up in these little shadow dimensions, these bubbles of silence. Well, what if I could connect the bubbles, Bunny? I said I didn't know what she could. I could let you and the others trap like you talk to each other. You could chew the fat, you could chat. Chat? I mean, it wasn't an old straight French fantasy, but it was better than this darkness. And she laughed, and that was nice. She properly laughed at something I said, rather than just politely smiling. Not that I'd have known if she was politely smiling, what with the whole eternal darkness thing, but you get my drift. And she did it. She explained how she was doing it, as she was doing it, but she got as far as something called uh, timonic fusion rods, and I trailed off and just nodded and smiled. And then she said she had to go, because she wasn't really compatible with this dimension, and it was hurting her, and I thought, she's doing this because of me. That's, that's kind, properly kind. And I managed to thank her, just as her voice faded away, and for a second, and it was so good to realise I had a sense of time again, but I thought she might have failed. And then this new voice sounded. Hello, are you a friend of the doctor's? And I said that, yeah, I guess I was. And his voice said that she was in a shadow dimension like me and that the doctor had done the same for her. Hello, hi, hey there. I'm blind you, there were loads of them, loads of you. A bunch was singing, someone was giving someone else a recipe for gluten-free chocolate chip cookies. People were talking about their kids and their families. And there were aliens as well, like proper aliens with these sound effect voices. <laughs> and we were talking, we were all talking to each other. And it wasn't the same as, well, I guess the real world, how things were before. It wasn't quite as good, but we were talking and singing and learning about each other. and. Yeah, not quite as good as things were before, but it'll do. And who knows? Maybe one day someone can fix this whole weird, crazy, unimaginable thing. But until then, we're together. We're getting through it together. Hope. Now that I am a fan of. <laughs>